Well, hello, happy new year. So for the new year, we're gonna break it in with a uh, good hearty winter dish. This is chicken and cheddar cheese chowder. Yeah, try saying that many times in a row. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. I love chowders. First time I ever had a chowder um, was in, in the United States. It was New England chowder. I fell in love with it. I love New England chowder. Actually saved me on a road trip once. I was coming up from um, Los Angeles back to Canada driving. I was just a teenager. I didn't have much money. I had to save all my money for gas. There was a place called the Eatery in Trinidad, just uh, north of San Francisco a ways. And I went to the eatery, got a big bowl of clam chowder. Now, this is back in the 1970s. It was like $1.50 or something like this. I was able to afford it, and that sustained me. It was fantastic. Now, this will sustain you. Um, this is um, it's full of like cheddar cheese and potatoes and bacon pieces and chicken. It's absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That'll get you through winter. Let's go in the kitchen and make some right now. All right, to make our chowder, well, we've got a bunch of different ingredients here. Um, first of all, we have here one onion that's been chopped. We have here a half a pound or uh, 230 grams of bacon block. And I'll cut that into quarter inch sticks, basically. I just cut across both ways, so I've got a quarter inch. You can cut them into cubes if you wanted to. I just like them into sticks because it kind of looks nice in there. I've got a quarter cup of butter, which is going to be this is going to be fried in. Uh, I have here one teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper, a quarter tea, a quarter cup of flour. Here we have potatoes, about three quarters of a pound of potatoes, or 340 grams. That's about three potatoes, around about that size, right there. Um, here I've got uh, one pound or 450 grams of chicken. And in this case, I'm using chicken thigh, but you can use either. I, I like the thigh myself. Juice here. And uh, cut up into small pieces, about a half inch, roughly half inch pieces. They don't have to be perfect or anything like that, but around about that size. We want it small so they you know, cook nice in the chowder. Uh, over here we have milk, milk and cream. That's the heavy cream, the 35% plus cream. We have three quarters of a cup of each. Here we have a half a pound or 230 grams of cheddar cheese, uh, shredded or grated, and two 15-ounce um, cans of chicken stock. And that's unsalted because we've got some salt here, and we don't want salt in our chicken stock. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to melt that butter over medium heat and get the onions and the bacon going. So in goes the butter. Get a little push around to get it melted. All right, that's our butter just about all melted. So in go the onions. You too. And the bacon. Now what we're going to do now is just, over medium heat, cook this for five minutes, stirring occasionally. We just want to soften up the onions a bit and brown the bacon a bit. Not, uh, not 100% because we're going to be adding other ingredients in yet. So about five minutes, maybe six, seven minutes is fine. Right about there. All right, see you in about five. All right, now, while the onions and bacon are cooking, I'm going to stir it every once in a while. But let's get the uh, chicken dredged in our flour, salt, and pepper. Move that off to one side for now. All right, so... Uh, in a bigger bowl, put in the flour, the salt, the pepper, get that little mix around, get that combined. Then dump that chicken in there. And then just kind of flipping the chicken around until you get it all dredged, all coated with the flour, salt, and pepper mixture. All right, that's looking well dredged. All the pieces are coated, so let's go in here. Give this a little stir. Oh, it's got about a minute to go, and then we're gonna add in the chicken. All right, that's pretty well cooked. The onions are soft enough a bit. I got a good smell of bacon in the air, so in goes the chicken. 
all the flour, make sure everything gets in there. And then just stir that in, mix that around. We're going to cook this for five minutes, stirring occasionally, just to Basically, what we're doing is uh, we're browning the chicken a little bit. The chicken's going to cook in the soup, but the, we're browning it a little bit, give it a little coating, just a tiny bit, and also uh, we're cooking off the flour. We don't want that, you know, you don't want that raw taste from the flour, so you cook it off a bit. All right, so about five minutes, stirring. You're going to get a little bit browning on the bottom. That's okay. When we add the liquid, that'll come right off. All right, see you in five. All right, so that's been going for five minutes. If you look inside there, you can see we've got a bit of browning. Um, kind of got a, a, a roux from the butter and the flour thickened up inside there. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some, it's not all at once. We're gonna add a little bit, like a third or so. And what we're gonna do now is go around and you just wanna get that scrapings off the bottom. So scrape back and forth, any burn bits on the bottom, so browned or burned. You're going to get them off and oh, and you see, so you see that, what a thick deliciousness this is going to make. And we haven't even added some of the other things yet. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to add the rest of this. Here goes all the chicken broth. In go the potatoes. And we're going to cook that. We're going to bring it up to a, a boil. A low boil. We just want to simmer it. Bring it up to a simmer, and then we're going to simmer it for about 15 to 20 minutes. We just want the the, the um, we want the the pieces of potato in there to get a little soft, but not totally falling apart. But you know, it's still got a little bit of bite to them. So usually 15 minutes is the best. But sometimes you might find that you have to go just a little bit over. So we're going to go 15 minutes. So we're going to come back and check. As soon as this comes up to a simmer, I'm going to put the lid on. And we let it simmer 15 minutes. We'll see you later. All right, so it's been 15 minutes and that's enough of these. I just checked these potatoes. They've still got a bit of bite to them. It's like, like al dente pasta in a way, you know. They've still got a little bit, but they're not falling apart, but they're soft enough that you can just, I, that's hot. <laughs> you can just squish them real easy. Now, for my lactose intolerant friends, you do not need these ingredients if you don't want them because look at this. That is a beautiful, delicious chowder already. So if you can't take milk and uh, cheese and things like that, don't fret. Just make it up to this point. You're good to go. But let's go on with the, we're going to add in the cream. We're going to add in the milk. What I'm going to do now, so I want to bring this back up to heat. So let's, that's cooled things down a bit. So we're just going to let that go for, it yeah, probably only take about a minute or so just to get it back up to good heat, good and hot, so that we can get that cheese melted. All right, that didn't take long, about a half minute, and already we've got uh, bubbles starting to form again. So let's start adding the cheese in. We're going to kind of do about a, a half at a time. Just add some of that cheese in there, stir it around, get it melting. Add some more, stir that in. Oh, this is going to be so delicious. I mean, I love Boston clam chowder, you know, New England clam chowder, um, but this is also just fantastic. Corn chowder, also great. I make that sometimes. All right, so I'm just going to stir this until the cheese is melted, and then we're ready to serve. And look at that, just a beautiful, thick chowder in here. This is uh, just absolutely, you know, hearty and warming on a cold winter's night. Now, one thing you don't want to do, just a warning, is uh, once you get this up, you don't want to bring it back to a boil again with cheese in here. You just want to get it to melt it and you want it nice and hot. Uh, you can reheat it gently. As long as you do it quite gently, then no problem. All right. That is looking all melted and good. I'm going to kill that heat. Let's serve some up.
All right, just scoop down there, get all that goodness into the bowl it goes. We've got, we have in here chicken, bacon, potatoes, onions, cheese. <laughs> what more could you ask for? There we go. A nice bowl of, oh, mm, chicken and cheddar cheese chowder. Enjoy. Now, if you go to the link appearing on the screen, you can get the free printable recipe for chicken and cheddar cheese chowder on our website. And remember, for as little as $3 a month, you can get access to all of our kitchen tech videos, our focus on ingredient videos, and those enjoyable This Is Japan videos that everybody's been having fun watching right now on our Patreon feed. Now, go print out the recipe, have fun making and eating this delicious winter super basically any time of year, and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen.